Here's how to screen record on Windows. We're gonna cover everything from free screen recorder options up to paid screen recording software for PC so that you can pick the best Windows screen capture tool for you. Now, when it comes to the built-in stuff in Windows, this has actually come a really long way recently with the release of Windows 11. All right, so option number one is actually built into Windows itself. Now, I'm showing you this on Windows 11, but you wanna come down here to start then you can start typing in SNP, S-N-I-P. What we're gonna open up is the snipping tool. So we select on this, not only can the snipping tool be used to create static images and screenshots of your computer, it can now also be used for creating videos as well and recording your computer screen. So we wanna make sure that this is selected here. We then wanna choose new. We can then draw out the area of our screen that we want to record. Just by clicking and dragging, we can make adjustments to this area here by grabbing these little handles. Let's say this is the area we want. We can then hit start at the top here. We get a little countdown timer from three and we are now recording this area of our screen. We can come up here, we can pause the recording at any time, we can stop the recording or we could stop it and put it in the trash. We can discard it here too. So when we're done, we wanna hit the stop button. That's gonna open up a little preview here of what it is that we just recorded. We can play it back down the bottom here to preview it, but to save it, we do need to hit the little save button at the top here. It's then gonna ask us where do we wanna save it. So the default is just under videos Let's call this test one. Let's hit save. And that file is now saved on our computer. Now we also have the ability up here to just copy the file directly, or we can also share it out via email or using nearby sharing. So a really quick, simple, easy way. Option number two is to use ClipChamp, which is also now built into Windows as well. So again, we wanna come down here to start. Let's start typing in ClipChamp. Now, if you don't have this installed, it will prompt you to install it at this point. And this is what we'll see when that opens up. From here, we can create a new video. We can come over here to record and create, and then we get to choose. Do we wanna record our screen and camera or webcam, just the camera or just the screen? So we're gonna choose screen and camera. We're then given a webcam preview here, which we can select our different webcams here. So I'll pick this one here, Insta360 link. You can now see this one is down the bottom here. We can also select which microphone we wanna record with down the bottom here too. And there's also a built-in speaker coach. And this is pretty interesting, not really to do with screen recording, but more pretty interesting to hear how you're actually presenting and how you're recording your videos. So I'm gonna turn this one on now. So it says, get analysis of your recording speech, including pace, pitch, and filler words. Okay, I'm open to feedback. Then we got at the top here, ready to roll. Number one, check that there's nothing in your teeth. Hit the big red button. Choose a screen tab or app to record and edit your layout after you're finished. So we're gonna come down here, hit the button to record. It does give us a warning on here that recording is limited to 30 minutes. So this is the free version that is included with Windows. But if you wanna remove this restriction and also record at resolutions higher than 1080p, then that's when you can jump on their paid plan. But I'll share the pricing for that in just a minute. So let's hit the record button here. It then ask us, do we wanna share a tab, a window or our entire screen? For this one, I'm gonna pick a window. So we've got edge open here with our Primal Video website. So we'll just record this tab or this window here. So we'll select that here and hit share. Then we can see here that the recording has actually started. Now in the background here, if I just move this tab out of the way, we can see that we are given a preview here of what we're actually recording. So we are still recording our webcam. We're also got the tab here or the window that's open. But the thing that we're actually recording here is this window here. So whatever we do here is being recorded. If I'm clicking on different links and things here, then this is the window that's been recorded. So when we're done, we can go back to our preview area here. We can choose the stop button to stop recording. That's gonna start playing back a preview of what it is we just recorded. Now we can retake the recording if we wanted to start it again. We can also hit this review speech and that's gonna give us that insight as to how our presentation went. It says filler words, fantastic. You didn't say too many filler words. So that's your ums, ahs, those sorts of things. Repetitive language, nice work. Your variety of word choice will keep your audience engaged. Your pacing is just right. It does say I have low intonation. 
that will make audience lose interest. Try increasing the tone for your key points. So again, it's not really to do with screen recording, but it's interesting that they've got that feature in there to give you feedback on your presenting style too. So from here, we can choose save and edit, and we're taken then into the ClipChamp editing interface. So down the bottom here, we can see we've got two different video layers, one for the webcam and the microphone, and the second layer here is for our actual screen recording. So we have the ability here to trim these clips down as you would regular editing software. We can make adjustments to our recording here individually as well. So if we come up here, we can select our webcam footage. We can click on it, we can pick it up, we can move it around, we can make it bigger or smaller. So I love that you have the ability to do this and record essentially these separate layers all from within Windows now. So let's just say, for example, that at the start of our recording here, we wanted me full screen. We can come over here to the left and we can choose fit. That's going to scale it up. So we're now full screen here. We're not seeing the screen recording underneath it. Let's play through this a little bit here and let's add a cut or a split in this clip here at this point. So we can right click on it and choose split or we can press S on the keyboard. So we've now got two clips here out of this and then let's shrink me down for the rest of the video we're creating here. So we can just select this here, scale it down, move it to where we'd like. Or we can also use some of these presets over here on the left as well. So if we come over here to picture in picture, there are some default presets here we can use to choose how this picture in picture effect works or how it looks. But we also have the ability in here to crop down the clip as well. So if I hit crop, then we can adjust the framing. So we could remove the sides here and have it just as a bit of a closer shot. We can then hit the tick to apply that. Maybe we'll scale it back up just a little bit more and let's move it to where we'd like it. So scrubbing through this now, we've got me full screen at the start of the video and then it moves to the shot here with it down in the bottom corner. Now, I've also got lots of different editing abilities and things that we can do with the background recording as well. So if we select on that, we can again crop sections off. So if we don't want this top menu bar, we could drag this down here. Likewise, with the menu bar on the side, we could crop that off as well. Hit the little tick to apply that. And then we can scale this up here so that it fits our video. Now we also have the ability in here with our editing to easily switch between different video formats. So I'm currently here on a widescreen video, 16 by nine. But we can select on this, we can swap it to nine by 16. So a portrait version says here, good for Instagram stories, IGTV, mobile videos, one by one. We've got lots of different formats here that we can choose from. Let's just say we picked portrait. It's gonna go through and automatically scale our clips and everything for us so that it fits this different format. And again, we can click and customize things up very, very easily. So there's so much more that you can do in here as a full video editing tool. We can add music, text, graphics, there's stock video and stock images in here as well. And we also have the ability to add in things like closed captions, different filters and adjustments that we can make to our recordings too. Once you're done, you wanna come at the top here to export and then you can select your video quality. So for 480p, for 720p and for 1080, it is totally free. There is a 30 minute limit, but you can do 4K recordings here if you do upgrade to their paid plan here. So to unlock the 4K exporting, to unlock the 30 minute recording time, then that's where you can jump from their free plan over to the essential plan. But if you're doing screen recording at 1080p, it's all you need, and they're gonna be under 30 minutes, then you can definitely get away with the free plan. But if you do wanna to upgrade to 4K export resolution, remove that 30 minute screen recording limit, but also unlock premium audio, extra features and effects, and a bunch of other functionality, then you can do that for $11.99 per month. Or if you're going to pay yearly, it's currently $119. But personally, I think what's included in the free plan of 1080p recording 30 minute limit is probably gonna be enough for a lot of people out there. Okay, so these are my top picks right now that should suit a lot of use cases out there. But there's two other quick mentions I've got for you that are for two more specific use cases. So if you wanna have a cloud-based workflow so your files are uploaded directly to the cloud where you can easily share out your recordings or even say work with remote video editors, Teller is a good option for that. Or if you're looking for something like ClipChamp on Windows, but something that has more advanced functionality and more feature-rich editing capabilities, then you could also check out Camtasia. It is a fair bit more expensive, but it could be a good option for those of you that are looking for a little more while having everything from recording through to decent editing functionality all in that one program. So my top recommendations are the built-in options, ClipChamp, 
followed by Teller and Camtasia if those workflows meet your requirements. So now that you've got your Windows screen recording sorted, if you wanna learn how to edit down your videos in the most efficient and effective way, then you can download our free editing guide, which is linked on screen. This is literally a step-by-step -step process that you can follow along to speed up your editing. There's also a bunch of editing tips and tricks in there to help you as well. And as always, check out the links down in the description. There's a bunch of resources down there to help you. I will see you in the next video.